Adam, you had a goal to make a feature film before a certain age. Yeah. Want to tell us about that? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so uh, back in the day, I've been trying to be a filmmaker since I was like 17, like in earnest. It's like, this is what I'm going to do. Um, but I always thought it was going to be like Robert Rodriguez, you know, like he was my idol, you know, like young gun, like doing his feature by 23. I was like, that's going to be me. I definitely have that talent. And then 23 came and 23 went and I hadn't done it. I was like, okay, all right. Like maybe, maybe I'm not like Robert Rodriguez. Maybe I'm more like, I don't know, Quentin Tarantino. He did his by like 27, his first feature. I'll do that. 27 comes, 27 goes. Um, and I was, I was sort of devastated, you know, because I was working on a lot of projects and doing a lot of shorts, but uh, I, I hadn't gotten it done. And it, and it hit me when I turned to 30. I was like, that, that's like a big milestone when you turn 30, you know, like you start thinking about a lot of things, you know, like your body starts changing and you, you get like weird, like, you know, like aches in your knees or whatever. <laughs> like it just, it just happens at 30. Um, Try 40. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was like, all right, I, I have to do it. You know, like I'm 30. I wanted to do it by at least 30 and now I'm 30. Like, how do I do it before I become 31? And I was going through, you know, all of this at the beginning of the year, like January of, I think it was uh, 2015. And I was like, okay, I turned 31 in July of 2015. How do I do a feature by then? You know, and I had this idea. Um, it was like a very small contained one room thing. And I was like, okay, I can do that. Like I can do that quickly. Um, and so I just sort of set my mind to it, set a date. And I was like, I have to do it, you know, like, July was that point where I was like, I have to at least shoot it by then. So I just went for it. In January, I started writing the script, wrote the heck out of it. Um, you know, in February, I started doing revisions to the script while just going right into pre-production. It was the sort of thing where I was like, I don't have time to look for funding and do that whole like game because that's a whole nother job that I just didn't have time for. So I was like, all right, I will find a way to fund this. It'll be super, super cheap. I'll have to put a bunch on credit cards do the old like Kevin Smith clerks method um, and, and just pay for it that way because I have to get it done. And, you know, I just started reaching out to people, compiling the cast and the crew. And like I found that, you know, there's a certain point in projects where it does sort of start moving like it's this big boulder and you've been pushing it or it's like this train on a track and you've been pushing it and then the train starts moving on its own. And then you realize like, oh, this, this is happening. Like people are into it. People like the project. They want to be involved. Like things, doors start opening for you strangely, you know, like the universe helps you out a little bit. Um, and that's what I found for that, which was amazing. Cause I was like, all right, this is supposed to happen. So let's get it done. And then, uh, Everything sort of worked out and we found a great location and we shot it in four days in June, like a full month before that, before my birthday, before that cutoff day. And, uh, and we did it, you know, and looking back, it's tough to, you know, sort of pick apart exactly like how it all came together, but, but it did. So I, I think the central driving thing was that I had a date where I had to get it done and I just found a way to make it work. Well, let's backtrack a second because yeah. I know you had this goal and you felt like the clock was ticking, but it wasn't like you were just couch surfing and going to raves all the time. You yeah. had a, a job, mm -hmm. you were PAing before that, and then yeah. you had gone to college. So yeah. you were doing many other things that yeah. essentially would tire a lot of people out. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, while I was doing that, I had this full-time job um, and it was that thing where I think back when I was trying to be like that Robert, Robert Rodriguez, like 23 year old, now that I'm like far past that, I go, you know what? I actually wasn't ready. And I would hate to have seen what my 23 year old feature film would have been because I've seen some of my 23 year old short films and I'm super embarrassed by them. You know what I mean? So to try to put that all together in a feature, I don't think mentally I was ready yet. And I don't think that from like getting your 10,000 hours in, in terms of like the reps and in terms of writing and directing, like getting all those hours in so you can actually make something that I would think to be worthwhile for myself. 
I hadn't done that yet. I hadn't gotten the reps in, you know? So I needed to just keep writing and, and failing and making shorts and having them not turn out well and making pilots for web series that never went anywhere and just making all this stuff because in the making stuff and in the writing stuff and in the failing and in all those rejections, that's, you know, where you really learn how to make a story and craft a story. Um, and so I think by the time I turned 30, I had done enough um, where I was, I was ready to do a feature. You know, I knew that I could do it. I had done some, you know, fairly decently larger scale shorts. And I'm like, you know what, I can do, I can do a feature too. Looking back, do you think that there are like two schools of filmmakers? There's two schools of filmmakers. There's one that's sort of this rock star type that can just take these risks mm -hmm. and luckily everything turns out. But then there's others that plan things more and maybe that's just their style and it doesn't mean they're any less of a filmmaker, mm -hmm. but they feel better knowing that I's are dotted, T's are crossed. Sure. I mean, there's, there's definitely part of that, I think. Um, I think a lot of it can be like some people are just sort of those like young savants, you know, and some people are sort of right for their time, you know, like um, would El Mariachi, you know, have, was it made in 2019? Would anybody care? You know what I mean? Versus when it was made in 92, 93, when the indie landscape was so different, you know? And that's, that's something to think about too. Like there's a lot of like luck in the time and luck in the place. Um, but in terms of like, you know, people who are, you know, potentially more pragmatic or like to dot the I's and cross the T's and versus the more rock stars, I mean, part of that is probably, you know, just who you are as a person mm -hmm. and what you're gifted with. And I thought that I was a gifted young auteur and I realized that I was not. I realized that I needed to really put in the work and, you know, build up that confidence, build up, you know, the ability to tell a story like, and that's when I, I sort of appreciated the stories about, you know, like, like JC Shandor, you know, who was like 37 when he got his first, you know, big film, you know, and he had been working for a while. He thought he was going to quit. And that's like, and it, and it worked out for him because he just kept going. And those are the stories that I really, you know, are that I'm drawn to now. And those are the stories that I feel are very underreported, you know, by Hollywood, because everybody likes the 23 year old, you know, who does something splashy and big. And that's like, you know, kid, you have not lived long enough to really understand how to tell like a story, you know, and there's some people I'm sure that have, but a lot of times, you know, they're just riffing off of movies and because that's all the experience that they had. I know that that's the case for me is like, I didn't have enough of life, life experience. I was just like, oh, I like Tarantino's movie. So I'm going to make a version of that, you know, and it's all about like trying to find your own identity in that regard. But for me, I needed, you know, to just take the time and just work a lot and fail a lot um, in order to get to a spot, you know, where I could make that first feature. Right. And maybe not everybody's meant for the lifestyle of what didn't Rodriguez do like this medical testing and these different things yeah, to raise yeah. money. I mean, then, and that's very like, whoa, when you hear the story, that's, mm -hmm. but again, not everybody, and maybe I shouldn't have used the word rock star because then that, but that sort of like carefree, rebellious, and some other people might be more planners. Yeah. And it doesn't mean they're any less talented. It's just, it's a sexier sell when you right. think, yeah, I put everything on a credit card. Yeah. And yeah. luckily it worked out. Don't try this at home, kids, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. The interesting thing, you know, like when you hear about like the real stories behind it, you figure out like, oh, well, Rodriguez, even though he was 23, he had been doing this for so long and he had made hundreds of short films by the time he made his feature at 23. And I had certainly not, you know. So it's a little bit unfair to judge in that regard because like what took me 10 years, you know, it took him 10 years, but he was starting you know, when he was like 10 or 11 or whatever, was able to get all those films in, you know. So he was ready by the time, you know, he hit 23, obviously. Okay. And also, too, some people are just risk takers yeah, by yeah. nature. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're a risk taker or you're more of a planner? That's a good question. Um, I, uh, I think I'm kind of both. I, I like to plan and I like to, 
you know, make sure that everything's sort of ready, but like you do have to take risks a lot. Um, you know, you want to sort of have the universe try to show you the way a little bit, but if it doesn't, you still have to have the courage to make, you know, that leap, take that risk.